The year is rapidly drawing to a close, and that means it's almost time to renew your dog's license for 2020. And the word in Bangor is you might have to leash your dog in parts of town. New Center Maine's Hannah Yashivi takes a walk with the dogs. Like some humans, Peyton gets nervous around new faces. Peyton brings his owner to the Bangor waterfront to get in a good run. Come on. But in a few weeks, this four-legged friend might have to stay on a leash. Well, I don't know if I'd like that because, like I say, it depends on the circumstance, right? If there's nobody around and the dog is fairly well behaved with its owners, I don't see any harm in it being off leash. I like my dog on a leash that way. You know, I can control him because if there are other dogs in the area, he's a small dog. He can get bit by a big dog. Zach Spaulding brings his dog Louie to the Bangor waterfront regularly. City councilors are nearing a vote to change the dog walking rules there. So we've had some incidents of dogs being off leash and not totally under the control of the owner. So what we're doing on the waterfront here is proposing to change the ordinance just on the waterfront that dogs would have to be on leashes. No matter where you walk your dog in Maine, you're supposed to register Fido or Snoopy by December 31st. It's $12, only seven if your dog is spayed or neutered, and you have to do it every year once your puppy hits the six month mark. That fee supports animal control officers, animal welfare law enforcement, rabies vaccination compliance, care for stray animals, and costs to return lost dogs to their owners. In Bangor, Hannah Yashivi, New Center, Maine.